actually purely a matter of age. Dave, if I stop there, how's that? That's great, that's wonderful. Look, look how curious they are. Sandy, it's just because they are so young. These cubs are only probably about five, maybe six weeks old now. They're just starting to get the whites around the eyes, so I'd put them at about five or so weeks. Um, and that is really far too young to have a spotlight on it. Just basically it adds an extra level of distraction if they're not used to it. Bear in mind that they're tiny, their little brains are quite small still and developing and they're learning. Hey cuties! Which means that that extra level of stimulation might actually prove too distracting if a predator were to come through. And we've had lions walk into hyena den sightings, we've had wild dogs walk into hyena den sightings. If I was sitting spotlighting them, illuminating them, first of all it will draw attention to them and second of all it could actually distract them to the point that they don't see the predator because they're not used to it. They're just too young to have that extra level of stimulation. And also it's just over pressurization on a den site. If I were to sit here with my lights blazing, Ribbon might decide, actually you know what, this isn't such a good location after all. I think I'm going to take my babies elsewhere and we don't want that either. So it's just a sign of respect. Karula's cubs are now over a year old. They've learned and their reflexes in this... <laughs> oh no, come on! Isn't that just too precious? Um, they've learned... they can sort of... they can multitask, essentially. Far better than our hyena cubs can. These two are just too small. Good morning to Do Dominique. I'm using mom as a jungle gym there. Dominique, you want to know what age hyenas develop their full set of teeth? They're actually born with a fully erupted set of milk teeth. Um, obviously that's not their full permanent teeth. I has think that they have their full adult teeth by a year and a half, but it'll start at around about f six months of age that their permanent teeth will start to grow. And I suspect that it's similar to... Oh, that is so sweet. Have bath time. Uh oh, somebody tumbled down. I suspect that it is the first similar to leopard cubs or to wild dog pups. There is such a look of adoration there from that little hyena cub. Hello, you almost ready to come up and say hello to us now. Now Rachel, while we watch our little cubs get bolder and bolder, you want to know if they will ever venture out while mom is not home. Yes, as they get older they will. At the moment though they're still too small to do that. They might stick their heads out of the den if something comes past. We've seen them do that with us. But they won't come out. And that's just pure instinct there. That tells them that they need to stay in while they are at such a vulnerable age. But they will start to venture out by the time they're six months of age. Often we've paid visits to hyena dens without any mums. And the spotted little surprises are gambling about all on their own. But that's again when their senses are slightly better developed. And they know that their reaction times are fast enough to get them back in the den site itself. But you can see they're still a little bit wobbly. And it'd be a very poor idea indeed if they were to wander out and a predator happened to come wandering through because they're just not very fast, not very coordinated. And all in all, not ready to face the big wide world just yet. Lisa, I don't know how they know to stay put. I have seen when mothers get up and walk away, often the hyena cubs will try and follow her. And if we've often witnessed frustrating but hilarious battles between mothers and their cubs, carrying one back and putting it in the den and then another one pops out its head and then she has to go and get that one and then the other ones come out again. So we have witnessed some hilarious scenes while the mothers try to get them into the den itself. But I think once mom is gone, I guess it must be a natural instinct and fear to stay hidden. It'll take them a while to overcome that fear of the big wide world. There's an elephant somewhere not far from where we are. I heard it crack a branch which would explain the lack of hyena tracks at the entrance it was because a hyena, I mean an elephant walked on top of them. And good morning to Hunter. 
Our hunter, no, Ribbon didn't dig this natal den, and we'll go into a bit more detail in a moment, but this was the very first den I ever visited when I started working at Safari Live. It was back when Bella and June and Gwen's cubs were still tiny, tiny. June was this size when I started working here in 2015. So hyenas regularly reuse den sites. Usually what they'll do is they'll take over an old warthog burrow or an old artfark burrow. Oh, testing out those sharp needle teeth. Um, and what will happen is, if it's collapsed as this one had, um, the hyenas will have their cubs and the cubs will actually excavate the tunnels inside themselves. They make little cavities where only they can fit in and other larger animals can't. Nice. All right, let's go and see if that hyena managed to reach those leopards.